So I never did. My the only years I smoked weed was probably within a two to three year span, yeah. which was over twenty years ago, like I said. And yeah, if you want to get into these stories, well, none are good. None are absolutely horrible. Like I, none of them put me in the hospital, or none of them got me into like severe trouble or anything like that. <laughs> but um, one of the first times I smoked it could have actually been the first time. It was uh, in college, and um, there was a bunch of people that would hang out in the room, and they'd smoke weed, like, all the time. Yeah. Like, every day. And they didn't make a lot of noise when they were doing it either. It was just, just you know, sitting around, just passing a bong around, whatever, you know. And then one day they asked me, like, hey, do you want to smoke this? And I'm like, I don't know. They, they, they smoke it every day, so whatever. I'll, I'll just try. I took a puff. As soon as I took a puff, in the door walks... Not the dean, but like his assistant or like his second guy come in, walks into the fucking room. Oh my God. Right when uh, I smoke it. And then the first thing I do, I'm like, I have the smoke in my mouth. I just pass the bong to the guy next to me. And then we kind of like hit it and we're just sitting around and like, you know, I don't know how we got away with that. Oh. But he cited us for like some trash violations, like oh we we didn't take our trash out or something, something much <laughs> more minor basically. Oh we were like, man, oh, boy. But again, like, art school, yeah, you know, it's to it's, be expected. Yeah, I mean, it's to be expected, but it is not. It was not tolerated. Like, mm, you, yeah. you got, like there was letters before that that were like, "Hey, you know, we already had to expel like ten students for smoking weed. If you do this, it's one strike, one warning." You know. So after that, all all my friends, all the people in the room would just like look at me and and like, "Okay, you should never smoke because I'm bad luck. Yeah. <laughs> if I smoke, I'm gonna get in trouble." So that's why I'm never doing anything illegal for the rest of my life. No I'm one gave like, a shit in our but, school. My friend used to smoke with the fucking security people. Yeah. Like the security guard downstairs, they used to share a blunt out in the back of the building and stuff <laughs> yeah. like that. So like yeah. Art Institute, no one cared. But we would get in trouble if we did. Oh, okay. Yeah. We did it in senior so, housing though. Yeah. So I was naturally freaking out over that. Um, I don't know if I was freaking out because of what happened or if I was freaking out because of the weed. Yeah. I really couldn't Probably tell. Probably both, but, to be honest. Yeah. 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 So then there's some like other stories that are worse on like a physical level. Um, some of them are very minor. Let me get some of the minor ones out of the way first, because I've had almost every single thing that could happen. Um, I mean, I think like all the stereotypical things like, okay, one time you might remember this. I don't know. <laughs> uh, you and a bunch of buddies, we were, um, uh, smoking, you know, I was smoking with all you guys, and uh, I think we, we were just like playing some video games or something, you know. And um, I uh, fell asleep during it, like, I smoked, and then I just like passed out. I just went to sleep on like your couch or something. But meanwhile, you're all playing video games in the same room, and then I like woke up and I go, I am so fucking hungry <laughs> and everybody in the room just cracked up <laughs> and then i'm like dude i need to get something to eat like right now so i, I like went to my um my parents house which was nearby like, you know we were next door neighbors um, um, but i wasn't living there at the time it was like i was staying there for like a short time in the summer this was like yeah you know in the summer during college and i so i come into uh you know my parents house where i was staying and it's late at night at some weird hour, like three in the morning, whatever it was. And, then, and I'm like, I need something to eat. So I'm like going through the cabinets in, in the kitchen. And usually there's like something to eat. There's something, anything. I couldn't find anything. I found a can of green beans. And I'm like, so I just like open up this can. And you know, I had so to disgusting. find the can over yet. I just, just poured it in my uh, mouth cold, like didn't heat oh it up or anything. God. And I'm just like down in this cup of green beans because I'm so fucking hungry. That's disgusting. Uh, and then um <laughs> it's, it's like you're finding things in the post apocalypse to eat. Yeah, like, yeah, right, yeah. Like, like fallout, like a yeah. yeah, cup of green yeah. beans. <laughs> yeah, a little energy meter yeah. goes up. Yeah, right. <laughs> and then then there was a bunch of times where nothing happened to be honest. Like lots of times I'd smoke and, and just nothing. No change, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm.